Empire Baron here. Thank you for joining me. I am so excited to have a really great matchup for you today. I have I am Soldier, who is the new number one player on the leaderboards. If you hadn't uh, heard as of late, the Mista had came back from a break playing Age of Empires Online. He was playing StarCraft a little bit, and he slipped from the lead, the top of the leaderboards. And the person playing against I Am Soldier will be I Am A Pancake. And I Am A Pancake is the number two player on the leaderboard. So yes, this is the number one versus the number two. Should be epic. Let's see how it goes from here. As you can see, it is the Black Forest map. So there will be lots of choke points spread throughout this map. And... He is going to start by going to that wood line right away, and he also went hunting right away. So very interesting strategy. As I've said in the past, avoid those berries at all costs. Fishing, hunting, herdable animals, all way better ways to go. And as you can see, the number one player in the land is hunting right off the bat. So... We will see now how he progresses through this. As you can see, they are uh, the Persian civilization will be I am soldier and he will be going against the, the Egyptian civilization. So we haven't seen an Egyptian in a while. Be interesting to see how I am pancake, who, as I said, is the number two player play this Egyptian civilization. I'm not sure if he plays Persian as well or if he got to the number two with the Egyptians, which would be pretty impressive because right now we've been hearing how difficult they are to play. They are a very harassment-oriented race, which may make it a little bit difficult for them on a map like this. It's important for uh, I Am A Pancake not to lose map control. So we'll see how this game progresses from here. There's been a couple uh, news in the Age of Empires community as of late, as I've said in the past, Batsy Batsy has uh, stepped down as community manager to move on to Terra. And there's a new community manager now that has just been announced. Uh, she or he, I'm not exactly sure, honestly. Soul Assessed is the name. There's an introduction in the forums. You can check that out. Also, we have a new community manager. I mean, not a new community manager. We do have that, but we also have a new executive producer. So if anybody hasn't heard of that yet, Dan and Davis was the executive producer earlier on, has now, uh, I, I don't know, moved on to another game, I guess. So I don't know the name of the new executive producer. The gamer tag is AOEO Trajan. So he also has a greetings thing in there. I believe it's a he. Again, I'm not exactly sure, uh, but that you can check that out in the forums. As well, there was an update this week. You know, not anything really that impressive. Nothing for PvP. So I'm not sure with the new executive producer. We will see how that goes, you know, if we get any more information. But, I mean, that patch they said now is one month away. So that was really all we got for PvP-oriented news is approximately one month away. So that does move it into April. So the March thing is now out the window already. And and hopefully, I mean, hopefully we'll get it in, in April, I guess. You know, they said, or the new producer said he is going to make sure and take his time. They're going to be quality patches. So maybe they're going to they're going to get this game fixed up the right way. And we'll start to see some of these things that we need in this game done. And then they can maybe put money into the game. And also uh, there's like I've heard the rumors of things like Steam and, and the like. And, you know, those that cost a little bit of an investment by the developers and, and the like. Or it has to get accepted by Steam. I'm not exactly sure how it all works. But in the end, it needs to be a good, sellable, marketable game for it to go to the masses but i think it has the potential and we will see so i am soldier starting off with a stables two stables i believe yep two stables are going to go down here and right at that second age he is going to start to get those asabara out those really strong persian all-around units uh cavalry units he is also going to expand out to this uh next uh, huntable animals. He's going to start to wall off here with some houses. And he's also doing a little bit of berry picking. He wants to make sure that his villagers are always doing something. So he's going to expand out and do a little bit of hunting, a little bit of herdable animals. That way, if he gets raided while he's hunting, he doesn't lose all of his food. So it's a really strong strategy. Make sure you see he's also got those cows, a couple villagers working there. Food is a really important resource. You want to risk and go out for those huntable animals, but don't 
bet everything on it. Because if you do lose, I mean, lose that lose that party, you're in trouble. So now we're seeing this first Asabar make its way across the map. We see the Egyptian civilization, how it's broken up. We see a couple spearmen come out for uh, I am Pancake, who has one barracks, one stables down. He has a bunch of cows, which he hasn't started working on yet. And mainly, uh, but he has quite a bit of spearmen here in defense to protect against these Asabara. He must have scouted out that I am Soldier was definitely going with those Asabara double barracks, uh, double sta uh, stables for I am Soldier. And that is why I am, Sol I am Pancake was able to get uh, the proper counter. We're seeing he is chasing that one Asabara away and he's going to take it down. And Soldier is going to try to take down this one Spearman. And he's going to take that one Spearman down. And now he is going to just rally and kind of take map control with these Asabara. They are a really fast unit. So he can bring them close to the base of I'm a Pancake. And force Pancake to be kind of stuck inside of his base. Since I'm Pancake did not get those Camel Riders out in enough, uh, enough. And now we're seeing one finally come out here. That's the counter that he needs to go against these Asabara is those camel riders. Uh, at this stage, sometimes you know he she probably shouldn't have gone the spearman because those camel that that's gonna cost him map control at this stage of the game. You know if he had gone just straight camel riders, now he's lost his scout. If he had gone just straight camel riders, he may have been able to hold off this Asabara force and chase them further away if he could do some damage but those spearmen are not going to be able to do any chasing these asabars are just going to be able to micro in and out here and force those spearmen uh to kind of stay in a turtling location or he's going to just draw them out and then run by them and attack the base so now we're seeing some archery ranges go down so that he can take care of those spearmen a couple bowmen uh, if thrown into the mix here, if Mike rode properly, we'll be able to easily counter those spearmen, and then those Asabara will be able to do quite a bit of damage to the significantly lowered forces of the uh, Camel Riders. And we see another Camel Rider, one Camel Rider come in as a couple Camel Riders and a couple Spearmen are coming in as these Asabars are going to dance in and out and then realize, okay, I got to wait for those Bowmen to come into play before I make any more moves on this Walden base. Now we're seeing the first Bowman make its way down, rallied to the middle of the map. So I Am Soldier is not wasting any time to make map control. Shows just how important it is. I Am a Pancake needs to try his butt off now to break and take back map control. Especially as an Egyptian, he needs to be able to do some harassment to this economy of I Am Soldier. Because if he can't, this could be a very, very short game. Let's see how it progresses from here. We see now a couple more Asabara are still coming in, mixed in with these Bowmen. And the, the Bowmen are good because at this stage they do not use food. And that, that is a benefit because you can really get wood easy. Now we're seeing the Camel Riders flush out that scout that was just keeping an eye on the eastern side of the map, making sure that nothing funny was going on. And now I Am Soldier knows that I Am Pancake is capable of moving to that eastern side of the map and is going to kind of sweep down here to the middle then he's going to send an Asabara or two to the eastern side just to make sure that i am a pancake is not going to be able to rush his economy and he's going to give himself some time to react he's going to start massing his forces on the middle of this map he's going to drop down a barracks now so we'll see what units he starts pumping out of that barracks uh, at, at this stage of the game we see about uh, 12 Asabara, I would say, and about uh, 8, 10, and then uh, 10 Bowmen, and then 4 more Asabara, kind of just keeping Scout on this uh, eastern side of the map. He's just constantly producing villagers, and you see the makeup of where those villagers are. This is his perspective, so up in the top, you see the little picture next to the resource. There's a number there. That's how many villagers he has on that resource. 12 villagers on food, 5 on, uh, I mean, 12 villagers on wood, excuse me, five on food, seven on gold there, and 32 villagers total. He's almost, he's got 95 max population. Very important just to keep your resources low. You see his gold is getting a little bit high, but that's that's the one resource that you can allow to get a little bit high because you're able to go through it so quickly, especially if you're using a resource like a, a archery range that uses a lot more wood-based units and the um, stables, which is food. You can quickly go through that gold. Now we're seeing a little bit of engagement here. There's four uh, 
four camel riders are coming in here and not a very large force they are going to get pushed back that is quite a bit of damage for a little bit of a scouting party i think he meant raiding i think he intended to send that to try to do raiding harassment but now he's going to try to push in with the rest of his camel riders just to scare away those asabara from pushing in but I, I i mean at that point he needs to i'm a pancake needs to or or you out there need to if you're going to send the raiding party send one of those units ahead so that way if you do encounter the main force of the enemy you don't get snared and lose a large number of that force it's a little bit more micro but losing one camel rider in that situation and then escaping with the rest is a lot better than losing four and you know or at least three of them getting taking some substantial damage now we're seeing a large engagement as uh, I am soldier is going to push directly at this wall with the Asabars, then he's going to pull his bowmen up and send a couple volleys in very smart do as much damage as he can he lost an Asabar there that got missed micro and we are seeing now those are spearmen coming in to try to help out with some of this um this camel rider damage and he's going to put them in the front no, excuse me, those are Sparabaras. So similar kind of deal. He's just going to kind of use those to tank or, yeah, exactly. He'll use those to tank and push up and just slow down, maybe help out his his archers there. You could even put them in front of the archers and that'll help protect the archers a little bit. I don't exactly know where he's sending them right now. He's just kind of keeping them rallied in the south and he's just kind of dancing his troops around. I think he's really just trying to distract I'm a Pancake because as you see, he's getting to this third age. So maybe he's trying to like show like he's a little bit stronger than maybe he is. And now he's bringing his forces in and out and, and he's just shuffling them around. That first gold mine is done now and he's going to start expanding out to these outer gold mines and he's moving in. He's going to put a little bit more hurt on this wall. We're seeing a rather large force in the back of the base of I am a pancake who is just so fearful of coming out of that wall. And, and I don't know if he didn't come out of that wall right there, if he wasn't able to maybe put on some sort of proper fight and, and force I am soldier to retreat here and maybe get map control back, but he's being very timid. Now I am soldier is going to upgrade that Asabara unit instantly. And he's going to get that wood upgrade from the storehouse and the gold upgrade goes down now for the storehouse. As soon as he gets to that third age, as well as, um, I don't know exactly. I believe that is the, maybe the Sparabara upgrade. I don't know 100% now exactly what upgrades he's clicking. That's one of the downfalls of having no observer mode. Hopefully that's something our new executive producer will be able to give us news on very soon because it is just oh so important for this game to work coming up in this near future. We're seeing now I Am Soldier is going to start putting some pressure on maybe a little bit of a timing push here. As soon as those Asabara and maybe the Bowman got upgraded, he started this push now because they have a little bit more health now, a little bit more damage output. He's going to take down this stables and then he's going to charge through the base and we're also seeing these camel riders sweep around the south and maybe try to pinch and we're seeing chariot art chariot uh archers i believe on the field for i am pancake now so that means i am pancake was also teching up to that third age very interesting as these archers are going to take quite a bit these bowmen are going to take quite a bit of damage for i am soldier as these camel riders swept from the south so quite a push coming on here for i am pancake as he is doing quite a bit of damage to i am soldiers attacking force maybe making a push to take map control back I Am Pancake is going to make this interesting as I Am Soldier is massively trying to go back home. Macro out now. Third tier units. He is going to get those Takabaras out so he can deal with these chariot archers. <clears throat> and he is going to be rallying his troops now in the middle of of the map again he's pulling back the rallies a little bit because he does not want to lose any troops as i am pancake is probably going to be content now with taking back map control getting the enemy of i am soldier away from his base and allowing him to to kind of start to expand a little bit here as we see he is doing expanding to the easterly side and expanding now to the to the south we're actually seeing that force uh move to the south there is that one, two chariot archers just to see the makeup of the force of I Am Soldier, but he did not have all of his troops there in the south. Now we're seeing some idle villagers as he is, as I Am Pancake is now going to put on the traditional harassment that an Egyptian civilization needs to do. He's going to send 
all he's going to send two or three of these camel riders to the south to try to put some pressure on these little outlying resource gathering places. And I am soldier is going to react by sending his entire force that direction, or maybe not even you would, he, I, I don't exactly think he's sent anything over there yet. You'd think he would should send a couple of these awesome bars. He's got three of them there, maybe just to help deal with it. But I think he's just sacrificed it. He's moved the villagers away that he wanted and now he has 119 population out of 140. Still has quite an accumulation of gold while he's moving up the map here. But you can see he's constantly macroing out units while he's away. He's also going to now put up a storehouse and a couple archery ranges, I believe, in the middle part of the map. As he is allowing I Am Pancake to just uh, attack those storehouses. They're no good. I Am Pancake is content to attack the storehouse. That really is pointless at that point. So uh, I, at that, he should be trying to move around the map. Maybe gain some kind of intelligence. But we are now we are seeing I Am Pancake is built a fortress in the middle of the map. Very strange strategy. Decided to build a fortress in the middle of the map. Take back map control for good maybe. But And now there's quite an engagement, but there's already a lot of Takabaras on the field. And the Takabaras against the uh, the Chariot Archers is in favor of the Takabaras. And now you see those Spar Bars are kind of microing in and out. They took a little bit of damage. They micro out, and then they go right back in and then, and then take some more damage. So interesting strategy. We're seeing I Am Soldier hold up. Now an elephant come out. So that is what that fortress was for, to get elephants on the field so that he could deal with these Takabaras and maybe put some sort of some uh, consistent pressure on here. So this is a good strategy for an Egyptian to get to this third age, be able to pump out elephants. That first elephant goes down, doesn't do a considerable amount of damage as I Am Soldier seems to be able to hold this off pretty well with those Takabaras, which are very strong units. And uh, they are similar to the Greek Peltis spear-throwing anti-archer uh, units. And they have held the middle part of this map. So a very key juncture in this game goes to I Am Soldier, who is able to hold off this part of the map. That fortress is still going to be looming, and I Am Soldier is no doubt going to be teching to some sort of siege here very shortly. But he is going to upgrade some archers. I believe that's from the armory there now and he is going to get some more macro going on and he's at 125 population and and he's missed micro a little bit and gotten into the range of the fortress there which is dangerously close to that middle base they are just battling over map control and now we're seeing an enemy wall go down so i am pancake is going to drop a wall down and I believe, oh no, excuse me, that was I Am Soldier who's putting this wall. And I Am Soldier is putting that to defend against all of these little uh, harassment deals on the western side of his base. Good strategy, allows him to react to them. We're seeing these mounted archer. They look like little tiny horses, fast tiny horses going in there. And they are going to charge and try to do nice harass damage. But that is going to be that uh, hunting party is just about broken down there was one villager left but now those walls are completed and i am soldier is going to just now we we see farms for i am a pancake and i am soldier is going to harass these farms a little bit here and the uh villagers are going to get put away now in that town center and a little bit of an engagement here as I am a pancake thought that was a little bit too close to be gathering berries to my fortress. So you are going to pay for that. And a couple villagers went down, but the force of taco bars pushed them away. And now we are seeing kind of a stalemate as I am soldiers starting to stockpile a little bit of wood. We're seeing a wall on that eastern side of the base of I'm a Pancake. So both players utilizing the wall in this third age. That's interesting to see. We don't get to see those defensive structures like this used too, too often in PvP. I guess as you get down to the later stages of the game, it makes more sense to invest the resources when you have so many villagers, the resources that it takes to make something like a wall, and then you don't have to worry about all of a sudden if they harass the wrong spot in your line and you lose, say, all of your gold gold miners for a short period of time you can be at an extreme disadvantage so much so that that might even encounter a timing push that you can't handle let's see now how this battle plays out 
the force of Dagobars are kind of shaking up and down, and then they uh, they get shot at by the fortress, which is just blocking their way, forcing them to just be completely stagnant in the middle of the map. As I Am Soldier, though, seems to be content to macro out these units. Here we go. Two elephants lead the way and are going to tank for lots of mounted archers here, chariot archers, as a little engagement goes on. Those elephants go down rather quickly, and wow! That was pretty impressive for these Takabaras that took out those elephants rather quickly and are now going to force these chariot archers to retreat back to the safety of that fortress. And we're seeing that elephant come in and try to be a hero elephant tank. But there is just so many Asabaras and that, I mean, so many Takabaras. And that elephant is going to go down again just by the sheer spear weight of these Takabaras, now we're seeing that Siege come in a battering ram on the field. He's going to send that in now to try to just go right through the attack. They are uh, very strong against uh, the archers. We're also seeing battering rams come in. I believe that's a battering ram for the Egyptians. Not exactly. I don't think that's what they call it. But uh, they the battering ram will be able to withstand a lot of archer damage and a lot a lot of arrow damage that's why he's sending it straight in but it will still encounter some damage but it made it there relatively unharmed and the, a siege tower that is what it is called for egyptians sorry about that we haven't seen too much egyptian play as of late hopefully that will be that will be fixed in the next patch a little bit and maybe uh, make it a little bit more exciting to play that uh, Egyptian civilization. But we are seeing now that fortress is taking substantial damage and this push is coming in where Takabars, mounted archers, and bowmen are pushing on that fortress, trying to take control of this middle part of the map. That fortress is about to go down and I Am A Pancake is in a fishy situation right now as he is being pushed back. These elephants are being forced to retreat. Another siege tower comes out which I think is a little bit of a waste of resources. He has just got that siege tower uh, sent forward, and it's just going to be completely taken down by Sparabar chasing it down. Now we're seeing a couple uh, siege really be able to leak into the base now of I Am A Pancake, and I Am Soldier is really pouring it on now. We see how he became the number one player in the land. He is just so strong. This Persian civilization has the availability to just be so potent against the other civilizations. And if used properly, as we can see here, you can take map control over very early in the game with those Asabaras. And the only thing I can see that I Am A Pancake would have been able to do is maybe is if he had stayed with that camel production earlier. And I don't know if he got... He got that barracks earlier or, or how that happened. You know, we, we can't see the base of I Am A Pancake. A another reason why, I know I'm beating this to death as a, a little bit lately, the observer mode thing, but, you know, hopefully that's something that, that we're going to see. I mean, this is an RTS game. The strategy takes such a huge role. I mean, this latest update... Uh, I saw so much gear changes and, and the pictures of gear and I mean the colors are staying the same but the pictures are, are, are changing and you know I, I don't want to say they're putting their time into the wrong parts of the game you know but PvP is where an RTS game is going to strive. You know esports and competitiveness that's where an RTS game is going to strive that is our end game, I, I, if you will. I mean, the quests are great. They're fun. You know, it makes the units look real pretty, real unique. Don't get me wrong, but this is a strategy game. Don't make it into something that it's not. So we're seeing now upgraded walls come in for I Am Soldier, who is just starting to mass out upgrades. You see he has so many resources, 104 villagers. So now we've seen I Am Soldier making so over 100 villagers, just like the Mista does. Just that is how what it takes to do strong play. You see so many villagers in play. We're seeing four archer ranges go down now in the middle part of the map as I Am Soldier is just going to keep pouring it on now and and these are just this is just tense moments as i am pancake is desperately trying to defend his own base as he is just getting pushed back slowly and slowly these battering rams are proving to be so hard to deal with because they are just staying alive for so long especially for this third age uh, Egyptians, they don't seem to have much of a counter. These uh, chariot archers is all he seems to be able to put out. And the mounted archers now are coming in pretty consistently for I Am Soldier, who is now going to upgrade those mounted archers. 
and he's going to send another battering ram on the field, and he is just spamming out mounted archers at this point and making more archery ranges to boot. Just now, he is going to be just slaughtering so much, so fast. These mounted archers are so fast. He's going to come in. They, they are very strong against cavalry, and, and they can chase down these mounted archers, these chariot archers, uh, for I am Pancake still very easily and take them down seems like with relative ease He's also still making these Takabaras and sending them in now He's switching back to Takabaras because they did seem to be working a little bit better against those chair archers Plus they're a little bit more cost-effective even though that is something that I am soldier does not need to worry about if you see his resource tab is very high and he is just about a max population there it is max population 108 villagers he's uh just still macroing his economy making sure that i am pancake does not have a chance in this battle you see he's also getting those upgrades he is now also working on that fourth age to really just put the nail in the coffin here and force i am a pancake into oblivion as he is just putting on such pressure now he is at the main putting pressure on the main town center uh, of i am a pancake and that is going to be a hard blow we're seeing a rear fortress go down and a last ditch effort and some elephants coming in but i would not be surprised very soon here to see this gg for i am a pancake i know this is a ranked match so there's a lot at stake here i am a pancake would have really loved to take this down because that number one player in the land still feels so much better than number two but there's the gg in the chats so i hope everybody uh enjoyed this game it was a really incredible game to watch we saw these egyptian civilization just outpowered and uh, and I Am Soldier played a really great game proving how strong this Persian civilization can be if, pro if played properly. You see this Black Forest map that uh, he took advantage of all the aspects of it, took map control of this game very well, and, and just dominated, dominated this game right from the beginning. I hope everyone out there enjoyed this cast. It was a really epic game between two great players. And I hope everybody else out there agrees with me that PvP is the future of this game. We need an observer mode. Let the new team of developers and producers know this is what you think. So thanks everybody for watching. Empire Baron out.